is now, dear friend, and your earthly life shall quickly end. Will you hear his sweet well done, or will he turn from thee away? Are you ready for the judgment day? Brother, are you ready for the judgment day to come? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day to come? Are you ready for the judgment day? It is coming. It is coming. Time is swiftly passing by. It is truly. It is coming and you'll have to say goodbye. Are you ready for the judgment day? Every deed will be recorded in the blessed book of life. You should keep your record pure and white. Just go hand in hand with Jesus. He'll go with you all the way. And are you ready for the judgment day? Are you ready? Brother, are you ready for the judgment day to come? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day to come? Are you ready for the judgment day? It is coming. It is coming. Time is slipping, passing by. It is coming. It is coming. And you'll have to say goodbye. Are you ready for the judgment day? When the book of life is open and before the Lord you stand, would he bid you join that angel band? You are making your own record as you go along life's way. And are you ready for the judgment day? Are you ready? Brother, are you ready for the judgment day to come? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day to come? Are you ready for the judgment day? It is coming, it is coming, time is slipping, passing by. It is coming, it is coming, and you'll have to say goodbye. Are you ready for the judgment day? Are you ready? Brother, are you ready for the judgment day to come? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day to come? Are you ready for the judgment day? It is coming. It is coming. Time is swiftly passing by. It is coming. It is coming. And you'll have to say goodbye. Are you ready for the judgment day? Can you answer yes to that question? You know, a lot of times we we'll get caught up in a song and we don't really hear what it's saying. And the song says, are you ready for the judgment day? I'm glad because of the blood of Jesus and him willing to come to this world and to give himself that I can be ready. I have been purchased by the blood of Jesus and I'm ready to go to be with him. We welcome you this morning. And we know God's got something good for us if we will just attend to what he's speaking to us this morning. Would you join with me in prayer? Father, I'm so thankful for your grace and your love. And Lord, that I can be ready and others can be ready by accepting your son, Jesus Christ, Father. I'm so thankful that you loved us so much that you was willing to give your very best and he was willing to come. Lord, accept our worship this morning as we worship you in singing and praising and giving. We bless you and we praise your name in the name of Jesus. Let's continue this worship. Let's be ready for him to call us home. Give the Holy One give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. Give thanks with a great. 
grateful heart give thanks to the holy one give thanks because he's given jesus christ his son and now let the weak say i am strong let the poor say i am rich because of what the lord has done for us the Holy One give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks to the Holy One give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. commanded to give thank, thanks amen to the holy one amen because jesus gave his life amen on calvary's cross hallelujah and this morning we came to praise him we came to worship him we came to give him the glory give him the glory give him the praise Give him the glory, give him the praise. He woke me up this morning and he started me on my way. Give him the glory, give 
Give him the praise One more time Give him the glory Come on, yes Give him the praise You ought to give him Give him the glory Come on Give him the praise well, He woke me up this morning Started me on my way to give him the glory. Oh, yes, and give him the praise. Lift him up, give him the glory. Come on, yes, and give him the praise. Come on and give him the praise. And give him the glory. Oh, yes, and give him the praise. Oh, well, he, he woke me up. This morning, oh, it's starting me on my way. Give giving the glory, oh, oh, giving the praise. You got it right to give the glory, oh, yeah, yeah. Giving the praise. Come on and lift him up. Giving the glory, come on and giving the praise. This morning, and started me on my way, giving the glory, giving the glory, giving the glory, oh yes, giving the praise, give him glory, giving the glory, come on, yes, giving the praise, come on and give him the praise. Give him the glory, oh yes, give him the praise. Oh, well, he woke me up this morning, and he started me on my way. Give him the glory, give him the praise, cause it's all about you. And it's all about you, Lord. Oh, every song that I sing and every prayer that I pray and everything I do, oh yeah. And it's all about you. One more time. It's all about you. It's all about you, Lord. And every song that I sing and every prayer that I pray. Oh, my. 
my death stress. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For he is good. Hallelujah. And worthy. Hallelujah. Oh, worship the King of kings. Worship the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. God said the answer. Amen is in your praise. Hallelujah. The victory. Amen is in your praise. Hallelujah. Whatever you need from God. Amen is in your praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just reach out and touch the Lord. Amen. As he goes by. Lord, Lord, Lord. You've really been good to me. I said, Lord, Lord, Lord. You really been good to me. I said, Lord, Lord, Lord. You really been good to me. You have done what this world could not do. Lord, Lord, Lord. You really been good to me. I said, Lord, Lord, Lord. You really been good to me. I said, Lord, Lord, Lord. You really been good to me. You have done what this world could not do. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. Well, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. And the world, no, the world can't take it away. What this world could not do You have done what this world could not do You have done what this world could not do And the world, no, the world can take it away Lord, 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 you really been good to me Lord, Lord, Lord well, I say, Lord, 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 you really been good to me. You have done what this world could not do. Well, you have done what this world could not do. Well, you have done what this world could not do. Well, you have done what this world could not do. And the world, no, the world. You have 
have done what this world could not do. And the world, no, the world can't take it away. Is that how you feel about it this morning, church? Lord, 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 you really you been good to me. That's how you feel this morning. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. He has saved my soul from hell. Amen. He has done something for me this world could not do. Amen. And I am thankful for that this morning. I must require if they'll come on up at this time. Let's continue to worship together in song this morning. glad Jesus saved me. Amen. Glad my name's been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Glad I'm on my way to heaven. Glad I know that my Redeemer's alive this morning. Glad to know Jesus is on the throne. Amen. Amen. Take that red back book. Turn to page number 313 this morning. 313 simply says, I have somebody with me. I'm glad I've got Jesus with me this morning. Amen. 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 Sing it like you know it today. Oh, yes. Oh, yes.
page 390. Amen. Amen. I'm glad I've got somebody with me this morning. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn to page number 390 in that red back book. Simply says there's power in the blood this morning. And I'm glad there's still power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Some will ask what can wash away my sins. Is there really anybody that can do that? Uh, Jesus can. His blood's been shed on Calvary. Amen. Amen. 390. You sing it with us this morning. Thank you. 
word in us. There's power in the blood. Power in the blood. Would you want to There's wonderful power. Hallelujah. Power, power, wonderful. It's in the blood. Well, I'm the land. power, power, wonderful. In the precious blood of the Lamb, for there is power, power, wonderful. This is the blood, blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonderful. In the precious blood of the Lamb. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise for that because fun. Hallelujah. Thank you for the choir. I don't care what you've done, how far you've been into sin, there's enough, if it doesn't take but a drop of the blood of Jesus, to cleanse us from all uncleanliness. The blood of Jesus, and there's still power in that name. Amen. And there's power in those stripes that was applied to his back for our healing. I thank God for that. We welcome you this morning. And I hope that you've got a bulletin. If you haven't, be sure to pick your bulletin on the way out because we have the February calendar in there. You can see what's happening throughout the month that's going on. But tonight, after the uh, service, Brother Wilcox would like to meet with the men, a men's meeting after service tonight. Then also, following the service, we'll have food and fellowship. I'll tell you what, if I keep eating, they're going to have to get a bigger truck to haul me around in. I thought I've dropped off to a small truckload, but I think it's back up. We do so much eating, but it's good, a good fellowship. So don't forget tonight after service, uh, food and fellowship tonight. And Sunday and other things might be mentioned about this. Next Sunday is our vision Sunday. The pastor will be laying out uh, the vision uh, and uh, things that we're wanting to try to get accomplished uh, for the uh, blessings of the Lord for this coming year. Let's not forget that. Then again, another eating thing. Sunday morning after this uh, morning service, uh, I used to, my old days, I'm an old timer, they call it uh, dinner on the ground. But uh, in the bulletin is first Sunday feast, so uh, you don't have to put it on the ground, you can put it on the table. But uh, so you'll be blessed and, uh, as you come, and I don't know where you can eat after Sunday meal, after Sunday church, and go out and eat for 4 or $5 for a plate. And this is going to help one of the ministries amplified uh, the proceeds. So it's going to be a good meal, and I know you'll be blessed. So get your calendar. We've got Daniel's Fast coming up. Uh, We've got uh, just all kind of things are happening. Get your calendar and be a part. You can get connected to something, and the Lord will bless you for doing that. We're going to ask the ushers prepare to come and to uh, wait on you and to give you an opportunity to return the tithe back to the Lord and give those special love gifts unto Him.
Turn to your neighbor and say, you look pretty. Now, I look at some of you, some of it might be a little difficult to say. I know if you look at me, it might be a little stretching a little bit. But the Lord, when we know the Lord Jesus Christ, we always should have a pretty spirit about us. We want you to worship the Lord and be obedient to Him in returning your tithe. As the ushers begin to wait, service you on beginning at the back, would you worship the Lord with your giving? Now let's, let us offer these up to the Lord for his blessing. Father, Lord, being obedient to you, we return our, your tithe to you, and we give these special love gifts to you. Lord, for the work in the last days, Lord, that you've called this local church to do, and we give them up to you and offer them up to you for your blessings upon it in the name of Jesus. And amen. Just for the pastors come, I, I'd like to to say a special thanks to Brother David and Brother Rob and Brother Ashbury for the two or three days they worked with us over at Spirit Life, our daughter church, uh, as we've done some remodeling on the stage. Uh, these guys really bailed me out, some of the things that I've done and I had to go back and redo and all the work they've done to we just have some good men, and I know some of you, if you could have been there, you would have been there, and some of you working. We just have some good men, and it was a blessing to, uh, to be together and do that work. So thank you, brethren, for all that you've done. God bless you. Amen. Looks like you're anticipating something. Hallelujah. Amen. I do want to say with Pastor Infro, thank you so much for the work at Spirit Life. I'm hoping tonight we can uh, present to you uh, maybe a picture or two of what it was and what it is. And uh, God's blessed them, and I'm so thankful for that. Good to be in the pulpit at Okoy this morning. Amen. I missed you last week as we were, I was away Sunday morning and uh, taking care of vision things at the Daughter campus. And then last Sunday night, how many of you are still mad with Pastor from last Sunday night? Now, you can't, be, you can't be upset too much and still make it to heaven. You can be angry, but sin not. That's what the Bible says. Amen. But last uh, Sunday night, I slipped away with, uh, I think all of our credential ministers were absent last Sunday night. And uh, it was prayer conference for us. And so uh, I encouraged all of our credential ministers to meet us over in Tampa. And uh, we had a dinner event with the bishop in the state office prior to service. And then last Sunday night, Mitchell, Mitchell Toll preached, preached to us. I mean, if you weren't there, you just don't know, but the man preached, and it was a fantastic service. And then we did what some of you like to do after church. We stopped by in the Steak and Shake, 
And uh, we didn't eat a burger. Oh, no, we already was full from dinner, but we all got us a milkshake coming home. I say all of us. Most of us did. Thirteen of us uh, got us a milkshake and then headed back. I think it was about 1230 or so uh, before we pulled into the parsonage Sunday night, Monday morning. And it's been a wild week. I do want to say publicly, I said this Wednesday night, as that was the uh, first time I was back on the platform since uh, Sister Wendy's um, grandmother's funeral. Uh, I was not with you last Sunday, but thank you for all of the prayers, the cards, the flowers, the uh, concern that you showed in the passing of her grandmother. Uh, we know she's in a better place, and she was 91 years of age, and that's a long life. And, and thank you for allowing us to. We had to make some quick adjustments to uh, the youth choir practice over in Lady Lake and had to get, you know, just all kind of things at the last moment had to do but uh thank you for pulling together and helping us take care of those things where uh, she could be with family and i thought it was appropriate that i be with her and so we're so thankful for that uh this evening a couple of things we're going to do before i preach I, I you pray for my voice i have churched it i think all week long amen and monday night we were in covenant tuesday night we were in revival wednesday night i was here thursday night i made it to spirit life i was late but made it to spirit life uh, Friday night I was in a board meeting for the Church of God schools and then all day Saturday in a conference. Uh, last night, I'll tell you about more of that in just a moment, but we were back in church again and then here this morning, and if Lord will help me in just a few moments, I'm going to preach. Just prior to that, I'm going to ask Rebecca to come and, and uh, help me this morning. Following this, if they'll have that video ready, and then following that video, I'm going to do my best to preach. Amen? But uh, Thursday night, Friday night, as many of you know, uh, we had scheduled a youth event over in the uh, city of Lady Lake and um, Pastor Larry Lynn's church, and they had been working on this for several, grab a microphone if you will, for several weeks. And uh, the week before, we shuttled, uh, I don't know, 14, 16 students over there for choir practice. And uh, that choir practice ended up being a prayer meeting before they got out of there. I wasn't there, but they told me all about it. And uh, so I'm so thankful for that. And then this Friday night, I, again, I was uh, needed to be elsewhere. So uh, we arranged, and Sister Walcott, one of our bus drivers, handled that, took them over there. And 230-plus uh, in attendance uh, total uh, Friday night there in the Lady Lake Church of God. And uh, there were 32, if I remember 33 from our local congregation and 21 of that was students 19 or below and uh, what a representation of your church amen I'm gonna let Rebecca share the uh, spiritual results from you and what happened uh, only give Friday night details and then we'll lead into Saturday okay go ahead obey those over you in the Lord yes, hallelujah sir. um I told him I wanted to be the one to get tell the church about Friday night um 21 kids and the gentleman that preached was only uh, 24 years old himself and up at the altar after the service one of our adults comes to me and uh, she says you know I led two to the Lord and I said oh that's exciting that's wonderful and one of our young students uh, she's here today not young she's one of our teens she came to me later she says I, I want this other girl to come down here and pray and I said we well, need to go get her and I didn't really see what happened. I was with other students, and a few minutes later, the, the girl uh, comes up to me, and she goes, it's done. I said, what's done? She goes, it's done. Well, what are you talking about? She goes, all three of them, all three of the visitors that came with us accepted the Lord as Savior tonight. Um, also in that service, um, I found out later, a third child, uh, three of our teens, well, a teen and two Amplify students that are almost teens, I'll claim them, received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and one parent received the baptism of the Holy Ghost as well on Friday. That's enough to be happy over. Amen. The Bible tells us the angels rejoice over in heaven over one that comes to know the Lord, and we had uh, multiple representing our church. Now, let me lead you into Saturday. What happened? I was in a board meeting till late. They called me. Uh, they were out of church before I was out of meetings, and uh, so they. Rebecca said, Pastor, uh, some of them, some was the key word there, some of them wanted to go back Saturday night. We didn't schedule to go Saturday night. Uh, it was just a Friday night event, but that local church had already planned to go Saturday and Sunday with their evangelist, the, young, the 24 year old and preacher and so uh, she said uh, can we do that I said yes if you have um, uh, a some you can take the van our van or we'll get you a vehicle she said well what about if we have a lot I said well if you need me I'll, I'll just be on standby to drive the bus and I thought well uh, you know eight or ten maybe we'll figure out a couple of vehicles well I pulled back in from a board meeting and conference about 5 15 yesterday afternoon uh, we were scheduled to meet here at 5 30 to leave soon after by the time everybody got here there were 
20 that went again last night amen 15 students and five adults now one of those students that accepted jesus as her savior friday night came, was invited by one of our friends came back on her own saturday night brought two more with her and that's the way it works my friends some of us are already behind schedule because we ain't invited nobody in three years or four years or five years to church and i'm already preaching better than you're shouting amen but that next student they got to say Friday night brought two more with her on Saturday night and I'll let you tell the results from last night um, I went down and there were all three of those students the one that was saved Friday night and the two from uh, that were new on Saturday and they were down the altar and I pray and then the girl who got saved turns to me and she goes can you explain all this to them so I had the privilege of leading those two young ladies to the Lord, and there was a third one from our group that was a visitor as well that accepted the Lord at, um, last night. And it was amazing to see in the altars, our students were down there praying for one another. And there were adult leaders that were with them. And I, I had the chance to be there, and there were adults from that church that just jumped in and wrapped their arms around your kids, your students, and under the anointing of the Holy Ghost prayed for them. And I watch kids that haven't wept in a long time sit on the floor, head down, weeping in the altar. And by this point, you know, it's, it's I don't know, 40 minutes after the gentleman, 30 minutes after the gentleman finished preaching, and your students are still in the altars, and they're just tarrying before God and they're letting him change them and in youth class we can preach a thousand lessons or sermons they can sit on the pews a thousand times and hear praise and worship songs but when god's spirit gets a hold of their heart something happens and things can break chains that have been there they can be broken and those kids can know freedom and i've learned they're looking to you they're looking to me to set that atmosphere to lift up the god that we know because when they see that something like like the two girls that came with the young lady who had just gotten saved they saw something different in their friend and they wanted it when they see what's different in you and in their friends they're going to want it so thank you for supporting your youth group and letting us go amen give the lord a hand clap of praise i think we left campus about 10 p.m last night headed back home and got in just after 11, and no, we didn't stop to eat. There was none of that. Pastor didn't have time for that. Starving to death. Uh, but said, no, got to go to the house. Amen. Got things we got to do. And so thank you for allowing us to do that. I will tell you, the host church there, Pastor Larry Lynn, uh, his wife, and they're in our covenant group, as some of you know, and, and they multiple times said that Okoye is blessed with young people. And you are. You are a blessed church. Now, I was kind of embarrassed last night. Uh, one of them, uh, Sister uh, Pastor Larry Lynn, said, uh, "Is that one? Who is that one? Is she new or is she a visitor?" And I had to confess to him. I said, "Brother, I don't know." He, if you know me, you know that's very uncomfortable when he asks a question like that, and I don't know. I said, "This is what I do know. There are students that show up on." Wednesday night that I see come and go they come in the main sanctuary and go to youth class and afterwards there's 15 or 20 or 23 people there so I said but I don't know if they're visitors or tonight or if they've been here before I said forgive me but uh, I let the youth director take care of all of that uh, I, she keeps up with that all I know is they were on the bus to go when I got on the drive and so we brought them to church amen so uh, students that are here I may not know your first name but know that I'm praying for you and I am proud of you, proud of your commitment to Christ. And if you'll let Jesus lead you, he will be your everything. Amen? Amen. Just before I preach this morning, they have a video that we're going to share with you. I do ask that you get your February calendar. Uh, I am calling us to a conference on February the 11th. Uh, that 7 o'clock time frame has been set aside for a conference and a leadership meeting, and I won't be able to say a whole lot about it until then, uh, but I do ask that you be with us. I'm giving you plenty of notice to clear your calendar, uh, but on that Monday night, we will gather for a time of conference. Let this bl uh, video bless you, and then I'm going to preach this morning. The Bible says my king is the king of the Jews. He's the king of Israel. He's the king of righteousness. He's the king of the ages. He's the king of heaven. He's the king of glory. He's the king of kings. And he's the Lord of lords. That's my king. I, I 
I wonder, do you know him? <laughs> My king is a sovereign king. No means of measure can define his limitless love. He's enduringly strong. He's entirely sincere. He's eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's imperially powerful. He's impartially merciful. Do you know him? He's the greatest phenomenon that has ever crossed the horizon of this world. He's God's son. He's a sinner's savior. He's the centerpiece of civilization. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. He is the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. He's the fundamental doctrine of true theology. He's the only one qualified to be an all sufficient savior. I wonder if you know him today. He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He strengthens and sustains. He guards and he guides. He heals the sick. He cleans the lepers. He forgives sinners. He discharges debtors. He delivers the captive. He defends the feeble. He blesses the young. He serves the unfortunate. He regards the age. He rewards the diligent. And he purifies the meek. I wonder if you know him. He's a key to knowledge. He's a wellspring of wisdom. He's a doorway of deliverance. He's a pathway of peace. He's a roadway of righteousness. He's a highway of holiness. He's a gateway of glory. Do you know him? Well, his life is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous. And his yoke is easy. And his burden is light. I wish I could describe him for you. He's indescribable. He's incomprehensible. He's invincible. He's irresistible. Well, you can't get him out of your mind. You see? Give the Lord a hand clap of praise for who He is this morning. Hallelujah. Praise your mighty name in this place this morning. Hallelujah today, Jesus. Father, we know that you... How many of you know the Jesus? How many of you know the Jesus? How many of you know this Jesus? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise your mighty name. Hallelujah. Stand with me, if you will, all across this building this morning. Lift your hands toward heaven. Praise Him for who He is today. Father, praise you this morning for sending your Son, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, today, Jesus, for 
for being our Lord and our Savior. Thank you for being my Prince of Peace. Thank you for being my rose in the valley. The lily, Lord, that helps me. Lord, Thank you, thank you, thank you for who you are in this place this morning. Oh God, sing with me how great is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. Oh, how great is our God, oh, sing with me how
is your God. Oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Oh, how great is our God. God, sing with me, how great is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. Age to age, He stands, and time is in. He's the lion on the lamb. How great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? And all will see how great, how great is our God. Age to age, he stands, and time it's in his hands, beginning and the end, beginning and the end, the Godhead three in Is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. Oh, how great is our God. And he is worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing how great is our God.
I have intentionally not called you to the altar hoping the Spirit of God as He dealt with your heart you would respond some have some I think still need to so in case you're waiting for somebody to stand on this platform God should be all that you need but just in case you were waiting for a pastor to call you to prayer consider this your call His clothed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice Let all the earth rejoice He Sing with me how great is the God, and all will see how great, how great. How great is our God Age to age He stands Oh, in time And the lamb, the lion and the lamb, how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will sing. How great, how great is our God. Oh, how great, oh, is our God. Stands in time, it's in his hands. The beginning and the end, the beginning and the end. The Godhead three. Oh God, and all will see how 
how great, how great is our God. It's our God, and all oh, will see how great, how great is our God. Is our God sing with me? How great! Thank you, Lord, for letting us realize today that you love us. God, I pray if there's one more. God, if there's one more that needs to move this morning. Strengthen today, Jesus. Strengthen today, Spirit of God. Strengthen today, Lord. Saturate. moving our finances Lord moving our workplace Lord moving those things in our life that distract us God let us realize how great and how wonderful and how awesome Strengthen this morning. Strengthen this morning, Holy Ghost. Strengthen this morning, Holy Ghost. How great. How great. How great you are this morning. 
It's her God, sing with me, ever rain. It's her God, and How great is the God? Oh, how great, how great is the He stands, and time is in His hands. The beginning and the end, the beginning and the end. The How great is our God? in majesty let all the earth rejoice let all the earth rejoice and he wraps himself in love Oh, God, and I will see how great, how 
Working power in the blood. In the precious blood of the Lamb, were to be free from the blood. Well, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Love. 
blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the presence. Since things are lost in this life giving flow, there's power in the blood of the Lamb. Power in the blood, in the blood of the Lamb. There is power. of the light oh and I do it's gonna tell you Satan you can't grow Tell you, Satan, you can't cross the bloodline because I'm covered by his blood. I'm covered by His blood, and you may stare, and you may fight, but.
That's your Jesus, Jesus, something about the name of Jesus, something about the name of Jesus, deliver Something about the name of Jesus, power in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus, healing in the name of Jesus, something about the name of Jesus, power in the name of Jesus. Jesus, healing in the name of Would Jesus. You stand Don't know about you, but he made a way for me. 
when I was down. Something about the name of Jesus. Jesus. Something about the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Peace in the in the name of Jesus. There's Peace healing in the name of Jesus. When I was down. Something about the name of Jesus Healing Something about the name of Jesus Power in the name of Jesus, healing in the name. Jesus, peace in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Jesus. Jesus, something about the name of Jesus, power in the name Jesus, Jesus, something about the name. Jesus, there's power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. 
Jesus. Something about the name of Jesus. Power. About the name of Jesus. There's power in the name. Thank you. And find there is no. Do 
for silver and gold. I wouldn't trade. to me. For all the riches at all to me. I would trade Everything you are the love of you for all the riches. Told you all. Well, to me, I wouldn't trade. On oh, just one night in his courts, he forever. He forever changed my course when he 
He forever changed my course when moments. Being in your presence, I love living in your mercy. I love living in your mercy. I love asking. Mercy, I love basking in your grace. I love worshiping you. No. It'll save. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Earth, every trial, every mile. glory for it all. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray today. And the church said it. Be back tonight. Come early and pray. Let's have church. Amen. Amen. God bless you.